Oh, yes, it is the Raw Wrap Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and I'm on the Facebook Live and uh, here in the Mayhem Studio. No, the, st- the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Why did my video go away? What happened to my video? You're frozen. I'm, I'm frozen. This is weird. And your names are changing. Let it go. Oh, is it going to fix it itself? Go. And your name is gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're fading away. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, hey, That's weird. Larry's here. Hi. Larry is here in studio. Hello. Hello, the Larry. Hello. He did not see much of the Raw tonight. No, I didn't. I did see a little bit of 205 Live, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is. People that maybe know the situation know how funny it is right now that you are completely boxed in by Scarehouse stuff. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did not do that on purpose, but it's kind of funny. It was a trap. Especially considering some of the things we were talking about off air. But anyways, hello, Larry. Oh, nope. Yep. Nope. As I try to confirm, we're actually on Sorry, Facebook. this reverse angle thing. There, there we go. go. There it is. You're messing with that? I give you a new mm. camera angle and you don't know what to do with it. There we go. Anyways, <laughs> but also with us, uh, joining us from Pooh, Kipsy, New York. He's the only one on the Mayhem team. That has a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad, Mike. Sorg, I have a very important question for you. Hmm. Who wants some merch from Elias? Oh, <laughs> yes, he got the merch. He got all the merch. Nice. That, we got one of those in the studio, too. That, that's awesome. What does that shirt say? I, Did it actually say merch with Elias? No, 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 the, no. It says walking with Elias. Oh, walking with Elias. Tour. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's a world tour poster. It's got a whole bunch of tour dates on the back. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So is, yeah, is that it's, every it's TV awesome. show? Is that uh, every episode of television he's on? I'm not sure. It starts with Brooklyn. So I assume it's like every major Raw that's it. SummerSlam. Those are his hi- career highlights. Yes. Oh, oh man. I is the, the, I, I like the shirt. It feels like the logo's a little too low. To like I I to pull it up for you, for you mm-hmm. to see it, but but yeah. Um yeah, so uh Sorg, the, uh, we're we're going to play we're going to play a little game. That's right. With, with, with our buddy Larry. Larry Larry swung by and he said that he he go he he didn't see any of raw. None. The evening, very little, and but you saw the end with the cruiserweights, and, yes. and it kind of explained what happened with the shield a little, a bit, little yep. bit. So I thought, Mike, you're so good at this game. Would you like to play a quick round of two truths and a lie for Larry, so he can oh. go home and go to bed? Man, <laughs> I am excited for this story. I have not been able to do this in quite some time. Oh boy, and especially not with a show that was kind of good. Oh, <laughs> that's a throw. That threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, I would like to say before you start that they yes. did publicly advertise that Strowman faced um, Seth Rollins last week. So I do know about that. I don't know the okay. outcome, though. Larry, Larry, I know what WWE addressed. Okay. Trust. All right. <laughs> this is not my first rodeo, as the kids say. Rodeo? Yes. Is that rodeo. French? All right, uh, Larry. Yes. Fact the first. Okay. All right. Cesaro returned tonight with a mouth guard <laughs> that had the Swiss flag on it, <laughs> and he called it the Swiss guard. <laughs> If true, I missed it. This is a truth. <laughs> oh, no, this no. is a truth or lie for me as well because I did not see this, but I also okay. did not see much of Cesaro tonight. Okay, okay. Right. I, I did not. I did not watch the entirety of Raw. Fact: The second there was a segment that featured a very large box of Depends undergarments. Oh God. Fact: The third. Bray Wyatt has become Swamp Thing. <laughs> oh, you see how I'm really good at this? Yeah, I do. I do because I, I see I see where we went with this now. Okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh. all right, all right. I have a vision for this. So the Swiss Guard 
depends or a swamp thing. So it's two truths and a lie. Yep. Two right. of those things really happened. <laughs> you enjoyed Raw, so I'm going to assume that there was a box of depends. Okay. So that is the truth. Well, you, you have to tell me which one you think is is false. Okay, I'm getting. I'm getting. Get, okay. Yeah. So you, okay. You, you, in that case, in it, that case, you're going through the process. In that case, yeah, I can't it's, see it's them. To be a millionaire, you can talk out the process. You okay. Can talk out your thought process. In, in that case, I don't see them ever doing anything with Bray Wyatt's character, so I'm going to say that's a lie. That is a truth fact, sir. Really? <laughs> yes. He came out as the Swamp Thing. It, more or less. Yes. I want to say so. In this case, do. You, in the, in this case, it is an interpretation, but he's not wrong. Okay, so was the Swiss Guard the lie or the depends? Yes, the Swiss Guard was the lie. Damn it! Made up. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. The internet is not liking you right now. Hold uh, on, try that again. What did you say? I, yeah, the Swiss Guard thing was something I made up last week in my own head. Oh and my I was god! Wishing I did. Send that to them. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. just tweet. Like, pro- can you? Private message Cesaro on Twitter? I don't know how that works. Is that a thing? I, uh, probably Is private not. Messaging? I don't know. I think I got my one naming thing with the hype bros, and I don't think I'm ever going to get anything else. <laughs> no, 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 no. But in, instead, we do have Lindsay Dorado loving the Battle Cat Braun Strowman thing. Um, yeah, by the way, I um, am trying to get confirmation that he actually knows I call him Kitty Cat Man now. <laughs> I'm, I am attempting to get a confirmation on that. He's one of the Thundercats, uh, man. Well, I mean, the Thundercats are on the move. The Thundercats are loose. Uh, <laughs> True. But uh, yeah, so the Depends thing, Alexa Bliss left some gifts from Mickey James in her locker room. And Depends, and I believe a walker. <laughs> yep. Was the, was the yep. Other one, right? Yep. <laughs> and, you know, I had some thoughts about that, Mike. So yeah. we we all were like unfondly, unfondly sure. Um, remember the Piggy James era? I do not. Yeah. When was yeah, that? Yeah, that that wasn't a good. That, that was against a good time um. Oh, what well, well, it was um. Lay cool. Lay cool. Lay cool. And the, if she was, I mean, well, I mean, she was. I mean, it's not like she was in bad shape, but she's not like cut like she is now, gotcha. right? Well, no, Mickey. Mickey's just generally a thicker girl. Yeah, yeah. Like she's just generally a thicker woman. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Really, uh, Dana's build. I think she would probably would have been at right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then and the whole angle was they were you know the two, uh, you know, like the icons like, now, right? Like like Layla and Michelle McCool were basically rail skinny, so they were calling her Piggy James. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so so it's not. It's mean, but it's not quite as mean spirited. Like, how are you doing this to this person, even in character? You know, kind of, kind of small. Like, I, I felt okay. better about this. You know, it was a stupid funny instead of a Ew, punch him in the gut funny. Yeah, yeah, or it wasn't right. even funny before. I thought so. So I, I don't know that. Like that reminded me of that, but not in a horrible way. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um. So, are you ready for the next set of two truths and a lie? Oh, you got another one. Okay. Uh, I am ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have okay. another one in my brain. I, I've been got cooking it up. One okay. for each hour. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. But you watched like a quarter hour. I watched like the last seven minutes of it. I, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Larry. Yes. Fact the first Alicia Fox was in two segments on Raw tonight. Oh, God. She still works there? Ha <laughs> ha! Shit. Fact the second. Goldust was in two segments on Raw tonight. <laughs> Fact the third. Kurt Angle was in two <laughs> segments on Raw tonight. I, I gotta say, I have not watched enough of Raw tonight. <sighs> To confirm any of this. <laughs> I'm going to assume Angle was on in two segments of Raw tonight. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Who's more important, Goldust or Alicia Fox? Goldust has been on fire lately, so I'm going to say Goldust was on two segments of Raw tonight. 
Goldust was on zero segments oh, of Raw tonight. No. <laughs> I need to stop going Unlo with logic. Because it's <laughs> clearly not working for me right now. <laughs> and, and thus, Larry understands my frustration of booking Raw. Oh my god. <laughs> because they do not use logic. What? Yeah, Alicia Fox was a part of the uh, the Mickey James backstage segment. And she was Emma's tag team partner tonight. Against Sasha and Bailey. So yeah. Wait, well, why? No one knows. <laughs> No one knows because I'm assuming Dana Brooke has fallen off a cliff somewhere. Ugh. I'm I'm guessing. Um, yeah, but Sorg, what what'd you think about the about that ladies tag match that was kind of the same thing that we saw last week? Uh, wait, well, I mean, it was kind of, but we had Alicia Fox, so that just kind of made it okay for me. Okay. All no, right. I, I liked it. I, I I thought it was a fine match. I, and I gotta say, it was a work night for me with Raw kind of on in the background. So I can't say that I got deep into the show. Um, but no, I liked it. I thought it was an alright feature. I thought we we're having fun with it. And um, you know, and, and again, kind of thoughts in my head during that. You know, seeing Bailey and Alicia go at it, just like you know, what? I don't mind if Alicia is on every week just as enhancement for like Bailey and Sasha. That's okay. She's great even at that. In my eyes. Okay, um, I, I have I have one more if we if we want to do it, Sork. You got time? You got right. time? You down with it? I'll make time. You'll make time. Okay. <laughs> I'll, right. I'll push. Okay. I'll push We're my next appointment. We're keep you uh, push your next sorry, appointment here. Yeah. I got to uh, feed the cat in twenty minutes. And uh, <laughs> there's a schedule for that. I mean, you know, if you want to keep an ancient mum mummified cat from Tutankhamen alive. That you got to keep it on a schedule, no, no, right? No, no. Don't date her like Don't that. Don't date her like that. <laughs> she's, I, she's... I hear they make great jerky. The, this one would make a great toothpick. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Not so I much mean, jerky, but you could make maybe a sock out of her. I and mean, then it's only as has yeah. been around since before I graduated high school. I'm pretty sure she proved Scientology wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she wow. is older than humans on Earth. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty much sure that the fact that most of us are alive pretty much proves Scientology wrong. Well, I don't want to get into theology. Yeah, all right. Any, that's anyway, a different podcast. Back to two true That's, a, that's a different podcast that I think somehow also ha involves Star Wars. I kept man, being people that did Star Wars podcasts. Have this you seen weekend. the new Star Trek yet? No, not yet, because I'm not going to pay for that crap. But you can, <laughs> never mind. We'll, we'll discuss no, not, how you can Star find it Trek. online. I don't know about Star Trek, but I found it I, online. I, but I mean the service. But, but um, you found that's a, don't tell Facebook. Uh, I anyways, did. I Mike, did. how about that next round of two truths and a lie? All right, Larry, are you ready? I am ready. All right. After teaming with Matt Hardy, uh, Jason Jordan debuted his new catchphrase. Oh, he ain't my brother. He's just heavy. <laughs> who? Wait, Fact. wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before uh -huh. you yeah, continue, yeah. who are yeah. they facing? Uh, they were facing the club. Okay. So clearly, that was a win. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fact, the second. Despite having her remains dug up and burned, apparently, Sister Abigail is alive. Huh. And fact, and fact, the third, Raw did not open with a talking segment. Oh, God. Does that seem like the easy one or the hard one? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know I what that reaction game. was. What was Jason Jordan's new catchphrase? He ain't my brother. He's just heavy. He ain't my brother. He's just heavy. Oh, is that a fat joke for Matt Hardy? Is I that don't know what that, what that is. That's what that is? <laughs> that, that, that's, that would be the implication, yes. <laughs> oh, he's thinking hard. He's thinking hard on this one. I'm going to say the Raw without a talking segment is the lie. Nope, that was true. Hot. We started off hot. With what? Uh, Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. 
What? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. We had to get something before the football game got so interesting. So are they doing a cane reveal for Sister Abigail? Is that going to be a real person? We don't know. <laughs> but Sister Abigail is supposedly alive. Oh, I hope it's Ember Moon. I don't think, and I don't think we mentioned the the swamp thing from before. Was like Bray Wyatt talking about his true face, and apparently turned into the swamp thing. Yeah, because it, apparently I, we need we need more of this, and uh, it, the whole promo is basically Bray Wyatt channeling Frieza, saying this is not my final form yet. Yeah, so, basically, basically yeah. also saying Bray, yo, uh, uh, yo. Uh, Finn, you know you th- you didn't create the demon, and the demon created you. And I and and I will tear. <laughs> there's like that great quote on Twitter. I, yeah, will like, I will tear off. I will tear off my flesh and show my true face. And it was just a picture of Husky Harris. <laughs> I, I, just, <laughs> I really hope this just means that Bray Wyatt is going to be sung to the ring by DMX, doing flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. <laughs> I think JoJo is going to come out as Sister Abigail. <laughs> JoJo? <laughs> wow, that'd be a turn. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I, I will say maybe this is why Paige has been training. Oh. That's what, that know, would be a little okay, weird. Okay, and I made a comment because I was, it was, um, and uh, you know, because as soon as that happened, the internet just went, Paige is coming, Paige is sister, I go, blah, 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 blah. And we got right. And I'm just like, did I miss the dirt sheet that's, that speculated at this or something? Or, or I don't feel like they'd give her a role that important right now. Yeah, no, that? they, no, 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 no. Pa- I'm still convinced Paige is never coming back to TV. No, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that's how, like until her personal life is sorted out. Just write out her contract Paige on Paige live is never events. coming back to TV. Yeah, oh yeah, she just like like see you at Staples Center. But Sorg, I, I think lot. we should. I think we should all make a prediction. Catering. Who from the May Young Classic could oh. be Sister Abigail? The girl with the whip hair. <laughs> What was her name? Uh, Bianca Belair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because me personally, I'm thinking Jazzy Gabbard. Mm. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. But she's so German. Is she TV ready already? Though? Oh, yeah. She was on she Impact. Was... She was oh, on was Impact she? before. I mean, well, that doesn't that count. That, necessarily... doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't imply you're TV ready. But I, I think Jazzy Gabbard as Sister Abigail would be a real fascinating choice. I just think that'd be a real, real weird choice. Bray but, does um, need oh, an enforcer and, again. And one thing I couldn't think of two other things for, uh, apparently Asuka's first match is not a women's title match. Nope. She's probably going to squish Dana Brooke. I, all right. <laughs> I have a feeling she's going to be Emma's tag team partner. They announced her for Raw. No, they announced her. Well, they they like they've said she's coming to Raw for a while, oh, but they, they said she's going to be at TLC. Oh, that's her debut. Yeah, she might just get like a walk out and kick Alexa Bliss in the face after she beats Mickey James. They don't say it's going to be a match. They just say that she's going to be there. Wait, Alexa Bliss is facing Mickey James. Yep, at TLC. What? Hmm. Whatever. But yeah, like I said, this <laughs> row was weird. This row was really weird. Like, I I want Miz to be the champion so badly because all of this would make more sense if Miz is Universal Champion. Did he win his IC title match? Um, he he did via well, no, he actually lost via disqualification. Okay, well, that, then he because won because the bar. He didn't lose the title. He won. Beat, Roman Reigns beat the show, the Miz Taraj, So, yeah. And basically, it looks like we're going to get the Bar and Miz versus the Shield at TLC. Which, Probably which makes TLC so much more sense. And I, I can't believe I didn't see that one coming because I thought it was just going to be Miz, Miz Taraj and Shield for some reason. I'd be okay well, with see, that. Well, see, Sorg, you were, you were using your logic brain. So, and, did Cesaro come back? Yeah. He did. 
and he was. Oh yeah, Cesaro's back. Fully no, audible. Just, was he? He was there on Raw the night after. Was he? A- after the teeth thing, yeah. Yeah, oh. and he and he was wearing a mouth guard. It was just basic black. Oh, I just wanted okay. it to be a Swiss cross. Although, dude, that have you guys hilarious. seen the T-shirt? Um, you no. mean the T-shirt that looks like a uh, friend of the show Sawtooth Willie? Yeah, a little bit. It's a picture of his face with his teeth messed up, and it says on the, on the back like Thwith Superman. And what does it's it say a, on the front? It's it's a, no on, on the front it says Thwith Thyborg. Yeah, yeah, but and, it has the little the, Cesaro yeah. logo and says. But it, it says Cesaro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. He does it. Thotharo. Is it too soon to bring back toothless aggression? No. <laughs> no, that's him. I think that's definitely him. Well, I, I, that was. Yeah. I well, know. he never lost a tooth. They just got jacked that, up into his that's face. That's true. Mm. Well, I, they, I'm assuming they pulled him out, though, right? And gave him. I think they said they were giving All, him implants. The only thing I really want for this is during the Christmas episode of Raw. We get the bar yes. saying, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Same idea. <laughs> Same idea. This thing happened. We're watching, the, we're watching it live, mm-hmm. and we're like, well, we know what's happening on the Christmas episode now. So <laughs> Mick Foley's going to come I out want, with a pair of dentures. I, I want Miz to come out on a sleigh with Bo and Axel as his reindeer. <laughs> but Miz, being the dickhead he is, calls them Roman reindeer. You're really expecting this feud to go far. Be, uh, yes, I am, because Brock Lesnar's not coming back, guys. I thought he was signed on for TLC. No. He's not? What's he What's he going to do? I don't know. Wrestle somebody? Suplex them? Yeah. They don't? Wrestle, suplex, he's just going to suplex ladders for five minutes. He's wrestled three pay-per-views in a row. That's five years' work Oof. for Brock Lesnar. Somebody needs to go mow the lawn. He's, yeah. He's due for a vacation. Mm-hmm. He may not even be back at Survivor Series. Wow. He might not. It's your rumble. God. Well, what, what's after Survivor, Survivor Series? Uh, That's November, right? It's like I think it's like uh, Clash of Champions. Right. And, and then the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Sorg, you want my bold prediction for uh, Survivor Series main event on the Raw side? Sure. What you got? The Shield and Braun Strowman versus the Bar, Miz, and Samoa Joe. That could be fun. I mean, it'll be fun as shit, but that's my prediction. I don't see him teaming with Roman Reigns. Well, I I saw a show advertised for Madison Square Garden in December, and the match advertised was Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. (laughs) Last man standing. I feel like that feud's still unfinished. Yeah, it'll never be finished until Roman Reigns wins. That's how Raw books. It's going to be a fight forever situation. Um, So Brandon's hanging in the chat room, of course. Uh, says, Lesnar faced Sheamus in a live event over the weekend. Yep. I wonder, oh, where, true. where was that? It was someplace um, significant, right? Winnipeg. 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 Wow. Yeah. It, it's not like we wouldn't like to see these matches, WWE. Well, that's near his like, farm, isn't it? Isn't he in <laughs> yeah, I think so. Canada? No, I, I, it's, not I a far, it's not a far so. drive for he him. He drove the tractor over there. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, we want to see these things. Like, we want to see Brock Lesnar facing other people who aren't in the main event. Like, I would love to see Brock versus Sheamus, even if it is just a five-minute squash. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the Brock versus Kofi in the Beast in the East match. Yes! Absolutely! Like, hell, let's have Brock versus the Miztourage. Didn't that happen? That would, Didn't he suplex that would all of them? Gr- no, you know, Jason he, Jordan did. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Jason Jordan did. But I just want to see Brock versus all three of them. Mm-hmm. All right, Mike. Well, hey, how much of uh, Raw was uh, watchable for you tonight? I'll be somewhat generous. I'll say an hour 50. Hour 50? I'm on good 215. I'll put it in seven minutes. <laughs> well, you watched seven minutes. Yeah, it was a good roll. Well, it was a watchable seven yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Roll. Yeah, uh, ending with so the cruiser weights again with Kalisto. Larry's, Larry's version of Raw was seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> and we'll talk more cruiser weights when we get to the 205 live show this week. Mad Mike. Mad Mike 4830 yeah. on the Twitter. Pooh Kipsy, New York. We'll see you guys. Absolutely. Of course. And, and Yeah. I was going to say, if you if you see me at New York Comic Con this week and address me as Mad Mike, you have permission to chop me. Oh, oh. I'm coming to New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bring it on.
on. <laughs> Bring it. All That's right. just a real thing I threw out there. Larry, do you have anything to plug other than the, the properties that you don't belong to that are hanging out behind you? <laughs> um, no. I think I do. I still have a Twitter account. <laughs> well, you just, I just found out you, I have, do, an, I, you have an email. Tonight, I have a Twitter so. account. I don't. Was it at? Is it Mutilator Larry or Heel Larry? <laughs> <laughs> at Mutilator Larry. She is not your handler. She, she, she's what? my handler. <laughs> she's my social um, media. Wait handler. your turn in line. No, 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 no. You <laughs> have your own. Real, this got you real have your own guys. handler. I, I, and I sent her a media update about what you're doing over here. Who? Your your handler. Yeah, she was very upset. She's upset? Why is no, she upset? I don't know. She's not. <laughs> And of course, that's Sorgatron on the tour, SorgatronMedia.com for the podcast network. Check out everything in the wrestling.us, our great friends over there. And check out our Tuesday night at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time. This week, we're going to have Honey Badger with us in studio. Honey Badger don't give a fuck. No, she don't. And she's going to be right here on the couch hanging out with us for the Wrestling Mayhem Show and the Indie Mayhem Show. Thank you, all, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it 